Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through personal software process. So basically, even when you are solely developing a process or a project, you will also have, sorry, sorry for that. You will also have your own plan, right? So how to do it or what to do it or when to do it and everything you will be also having a plan according to your own perspective, right? So it completely depends on you. So now let us go through some basic pro personal software process. So we know that every team member possesses his own, her own personal software process. So basically even your higher authorities say that you should do in this way, but you will be having your own some rules, right? So I'll be writing, so assume in this way. So basically in most of the coding practices, they will be saying like assume that you are writing void main or a function. So most of them will be saying that you need to start a flower bracket right after this and you need to close it. Then you need to write the statements in between. But I myself also will not follow this guys. I'll be writing in the next line because it will be easy for me to understand where the flower bucket has started and where the flower bucket ended. But few who members will be considering this as the standard and this is not a good practice. So it depends on my wish, right? So I am developing the code. So I'll be thinking of my own ease and my own things. So, so in the same way, we know that every team member process his or her own software processes. So they will be having their own process models like how to do, how to plan and when to give time and when to work, when to do things like that. So the personal software model is a structural software development process that is designed to help the software, help software engineers to better understand and improve their performance. So basically this model is designed by basic analysis and doing some research in this field. They did design some basic model guys like they should follow these tips. These are the main things that you should consider. So the main discussion will be all about how to manage their project quality. So that's the main question, right? And make commitments so basically you will be saying that i'll be completing this project in 10 days but you will be extending it for 15 days in the next day only and today you will be doing some time pass you will not be doing anything like that so this is nothing but we need to have some commitment right so the commitment is mandatory and improve the estimation and planning and to reduce the defects so this is what they will be discussing about so there are totally five major activities guys so the first activity is nothing but planning so plan what you are doing so basically when you are building a module so please understand why you are doing it and what is the outcome of getting it, of doing it and what you will be getting it. So planning, plan what you are doing and you should plan like minimum time. I'll be working on this for one hour and after that I'll be moving on to the next one. Whatever happen might happen there but I will be moving on to the next one. Like that you should have a strict plan. Only then you will slowly you will become faster. Okay. And high level design. So always your project should be of the best design and it should be understandable easily. It should be easily understandable. So complete project design is made for the help of the faster understanding. Okay. You need to make a high level design. So basically if the design is proper, the coding aspect will be really easy guys because in design only we'll be declaring what are the classes, what are the functions, what are the variables and everything. Okay. Guys will be going through design phases and these phases will be discussing around four chapters completely dedicated for these steps only guys. Okay. So that is the reason why I'm just giving you an introduction here. Okay. Similarly, high level design review. So basically once you design something, you need to get the review also. Because reviewing will give you the ideas that you are mistakes, your errors, your bugs. It will be identifying. So review it multiple times to remove the errors and bugs. Then you will be starting your development. That is nothing but you will be coding. You will start coding. And then you will be doing postmortem. Postmortem is nothing but you can say that you will be dividing the whole project into modules and you will be testing them. Or even you can include the testing and development phase only. Okay. So these are the five guidelines or major work activities that whenever you are doing a solo project development or personal software process should exist. Okay. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about it. So in the next lecture, we will be going through team software process that is popularly called as TSP and this which we discussed is called as PSP. Okay. So in the next lecture, let us meet guys. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.